What you're about to see next are guns, ammunition, wards of Indian currency, medicines, all recovered from Pakistani insurgents. This chilling account sent by a strategic affairs editor, Gaurav Savant, from the valley, just underlining what Pakistan has been up to for the last few weeks. Recent recoveries in the care and sector have security forces worried. The terrorists were carrying a large number of weapons. But the nature of weapons is different. Uh, usually they carry a lot of AK-47s or AK-3s assault rifles, but this time they were carrying these star pistols. They're not one, not two. But if you look at the number of weapons, I spoke to senior officers in the Chinar Corps, and 66 pistols and a large number of ammunition has been recovered. Why were terrorists carrying 66 pistols? Has it got something to do with elections? around the corner in Jammu and Kashmir. These pistols are easy to carry. They can easily be hidden in clothes, in firans, and can be used for political assassinations or for targeted killing. Is that why a large number of pistols were being carried by these terrorists in this encounter in Fatehgali and in Gurjar too? And that is not all. Collapsible but AK-98 series assault rifles. Uh, this rifle mili, ye foldable but ke saath, folded but ke saath thi? Yes. Why uh, do you have to fold it like this? Why do you have to fold it? It's easy to carry, it's easy to hide and can be used. Now these are lethal weapons, two of these, one with foldable butt, the other with the open butt was recovered under magazines. There were massive coveries of arms and ammunition and ammunition like this. Several such uh, portlies as they're called in military parlance, portlies of ammunition were recovered. What was extremely alarming for security forces that these terrorists were carrying a large number of military uniforms. Now terrorists were not only wearing these uniforms, but they were also carrying a large number of these uniforms. Several such uniforms and, and caps and other uh, uh, equipment and have been recovered uh, by the security forces. If you recall, in the recent Samba encounter, terrorists were wearing military uniforms. Were these being brought in so that more targeted attacks of security forces would be carried out? Like this, this bag that has been recovered is full of such military uniforms. That is one part of the story. That's the operation that took place at Fateh Gali, the Gawal Rifles. Currency notes. This is Indian currency. Of course, the terrorist who was carrying it, who was, had it in his breast pocket, he was shot through the heart. 70,000 rupees. These are words of 1,000 rupees each, 10 notes each word. 1, 2, 3, 4, shot twice here, 5, 6, and 7. 70,000 rupees were recovered, and that is not all drugs. Terrorists were also carrying drugs, and these are some that have been recovered in one operation. There are several more like this. How is the army so sure that they are Pakistani terrorists? One, they came in from ports. Pakistan army was providing cover fire. And two, these medicines very clearly carry the markings of Pakistan. As it says here, this medicine has been made in Pakistan. And just, just one more aspect of some of these medicines that have been recovered in one operation. There are more pistols with Pakistan Ordnance Factory markings and also rifles. In another operation, let me now come to what else has been recovered uh, in the Fateh Gali and Gujarpur operation. In Gujarpur, uh, the Punjab regiment has recovered a Tommy gun like this, not usually carried by terrorists, but this Tommy gun, extremely, extremely lethal, carried by these terrorists. How many times does Tommy gun come out? 75, 75 गोलियां या तो फायर कर सकते हैं इसकी इस इस मैगज़ीन से एक्सट्रीमली लीथल नाउ वन ऑफ़ द जवान्स सर्वाइव्ड बाय द स्किन ऑफ़ हिस टीथ एंड लिटरली हाउ वेल इफ़ यू लुक एट दिस बुलेटप्रूफ जैकेट दैट द जवान वाज वेयरिंग द दिस ब्रेस्टप्लेट हैज एक्चुअली सेव्ड हिम वन टू थ्री four bullets that this breastplate took and the Jalan survived and that that is not all he's in hospital he is recovering the insas rifle the magazine was also shot so terrorist and look at look at the kind of expertise that the terrorist had now this is combat at high altitude at night but his firing discipline and and just just goes on to indicate that he has managed to hit this Jalan right in the chest area the security forces say the pistols, the uniforms, the large number of ammunition that is coming in all seems to point 
to a summer of terror ahead in 2014. With cameraman Ritesh Mishra, Gaurav Sant, in the Chanarkor area for headlines today.